What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, and today I'm back to talk to you about Warhammer 40k, and boy do we have a lot to cover today. So, a few hours ago, the Warhammer community people over on Twitch, I believe it was Twitch, unveiled the box set for the 9th edition. And it's called Indomitus. It features, of course, the Primaris Marines going up against the Necrons, and it is quite a box. They're, I think this is probably the biggest box they've ever put out for like the introduction of a new edition. And whew, there's a lot of things to cover. So I'm going to split up these videos into two. Where in this one, obviously, I'm going to be talking about the Primaris Marines, since you've seen the thumbnail. And then I'm going to be putting out another one focusing on the Necron characters and models that's going to be within this box. So if you guys want more ooey gooeyness explained to you in a better way, probably <laughs> better than I can do at least, uh, head on over to the Warhammer community page. I will be posting the link down in the description so you guys can check out all the details. But for now, let's look at what exactly is within this box. So for the Space Marine half of this box, or should I say the Primaris half, because that's what everything is in here, you've got 24 models, 10 assault troops, 3 bikes, three like uh, specialty close combat guys with shields you've got your lieutenant your captain a chaplain some freaking awesome melta guys a standard bearer and you got the new judicator on here so let's go one by one looking at the intricacies of these guys beginning with the primaris captain so the captain looks amazing um i for one don't really care too much for primaris marines uh, they're replacing the old classic marines and whatnot, but this guy looks amazing. The detail on him is pretty cool. I really like the way they did his helmet. It looks really badass with like the ventilator and looks like he's got like a visor or something like that. His shield is also something of note because the bones on there aren't just for decoration. Those are legit the remains of an imperial saint, which is pretty badass. And he's got a power sword some really cool details on the model and of course just for <laughs> just from pure badassery you've got a defeated Necron warrior at his feet which is really cool continuing on you've got the primaris lieutenant yes we have another lieutenant this is like what 647 lieutenants so far um basically it's the same thing as the captain just a little toned down he's got a power sword um storm shield and the thing of note for this guy is that pistol is not a plasma it is none other than an improved volkite pistol now if you don't know what volkite is it is a type of weapon that was used during the heresy during the 30k era of warhammer and from what you could read in a little snippet it was actually belisarius call who has reinvented it into something stronger um, I'm really interested to see what the stats for this thing is, because Volkite weapons were probably my favorite weapons from back during the Heresy, besides, like, I don't know, Radium wep weapons, but yeah, it's pretty cool to, to see something as awesome as that. Now, continuing on with the Chaplain, it's basic. <laughs> don't get me wrong, the models look really great. Uh, another thing, too, about these models is they're all push fit, so... If you want to give them like more dynamic poses, you're probably gonna to have to like chop and like add different parts and whatnot to make them, you know, more articulate. But it's meant to be built quickly and put on the battlefield so you can play. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be the norm going forward. Hopefully not. But at least for this box set, it's meant for you to, you know, clip them and then build them really, really quick. Again, Chaplain, nothing too intricate here. Um, when it comes to the Judicator, we've seen this guy before, so nothing really new here. However, they go into a little bit more detail as to this hourglass looking thing that he's got. So, it is a new esoteric war gear called the Tempor Mortis. And basically, he can manipulate time to ensure that whatever he's striking down is indeed dead. So I think this is just to play on the whole Necron reanimation thing. Maybe you can bypass this with it. Maybe any models he slays are removed from the field um, with no like 
saves allowed, which might be overpowered, but I'm really curious to see how this Temper Mortis actually works. Continuing on, we have the Blade Guard Veterans. These are your close combat elites that are just going to go up into combat and just wreck stuff up. They've got power weapons in the form of swords, so they're probably going to be just Strength 4 or Strength 5, um, but they're probably going to have that nice 3 plus save with a 3 plus invuln because of their shields. And then we have the Ancient, the Blade Guard Ancient. I don't know why, but I really like the look of this model. Maybe it's just like the sleekness. Um, I don't know, it, it just draws me to it for some reason. Except that little like bone necklace thing he's got. It almost reminds me of like the scrimshaw stuff that the Iron Fists do. But he's going to be a guy that's there to support the army. Uh, maybe plop him in with your captain and your... Uh, the guys I previously talked about to the veterans, so that you can ensure you do more damage in close combat. Going away from close combat, we have the Eradicators. These guys are like, I don't know, mini aggressors, because if you look at the helmet, it's very similar to that, but they're not as bulky, because they're not going to be up in close combat. These guys are about shooting at range, and it's very different, because when you look at the weapon, it looks like a Melta. However, this is not just a Melta, it is a long-range Melta rifle. What? <laughs> like, Meltas are all about being up close, like that's their thing. Super strong, but the fallback is that you have to be close to use it. So now that it's long-range, maybe it's not as strong as it should be. Maybe it works similar to that of a conversion beamer, where like the closer you are, the more damage it, it does. Because um, that's how Melta should work, but... I don't know, I'm interesting to, interested to see what exactly this weapon can do. And then we have the Assault Intercessor Squads. We've seen Intercessors before, but these are just outfitted with, you know, chain swords and pistols in order to do more damage in the thick of it. Outriders are one of the things that really stuck out to me the most. Um, because the bikes here resemble those from the Heresy era, the 30k era, 40k, and I really like the design of those bikes. These here um, are looking pretty cool, really uh, beefy. Um, yeah, if you're into making white scars a Primaris army, finally you've got something to work with. And that's the half of the Space Marine box. Um, obviously we've got the Necrons to cover, but before I do that, there's actually a little bit more. So within the box, you get a limited edition, uh, ninth edition rule book that has Abaddon the Despoiler going up against the homeboy Gilliman. Just just the book alone looks really badass. Um, yeah, it's it just looks really cool. I, I, I almost feel like it's worth buying the freaking set just for the art on this book. Like, just look at that. Beautiful. Um, also, you've got some like um, the the data sheets for all the guys, um, and you got a little bit of lore in there as to what's going on between this battle, and that's in the book titled The Edge of Silence. You've also got some transfers and assembly guide, which I don't know why they give you an assembly guide if it's all like pushed to fit, but it's there nonetheless. And that's the Space Marine half. Um, I was gonna end the video here, but then. GW hit us up with, but wait, there's more. So it's not in the actual box itself, but they did reveal that soon after, or maybe during the same time when this box comes out, you will be able to purchase two more Primaris units. So let's take a look at those. And I almost regret looking at these new models because the Invader ATV, oh man. The more I look at it, the more I hate the design. Like, I get what they were trying to do. It's a freaking buggy, an all-terrain vehicle, you know, dangerous terrain, difficult terrain won't affect it. But it's like, ugh, it just looks bad. <laughs> it reminds me of the freaking war buggies from the orcs from, like, 5th edition, where, like, the scale was all wrong, and... <sighs> I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's got a freaking Onslaught Gatling cannon on it but I do not like it at all. Um, the other model that they revealed was the Fire Strike Servo Turret. Basically, it's a heavy weapons platform that's immovable, or at least it seems that way, 
and it's just there to form a gun line, put it on some nice piece of terrain, and just rain fire on your enemies. This one I could tolerate. I mean, we've seen sentry turrets before and whatnot. It's got an accelerator, auto cannon, or you can put in a twin last talon. So, depending on what you're fighting, you can kind of tailor it to that. Um, I don't know, I almost feel like that's what Devastators are for. Uh, but again, it does look cool. Um, if you're making like a really epic scenery, you can have like a bastion or a you know fortress monastery and have these on like columns or pillars or whatnot just to look really badass. So definitely I 100% like this one a thousand percent more than the ATV. Uh, why? Why? This doesn't even look Space Marine like. Like it looks like I can make it with Legos. But anyway, I didn't want to end it on a <laughs> bad note, but um, yeah, an ATV. Um, I don't know. I really like this box set though. Um, just by the amount of things that they put in here whew, it, it is definitely worth the price they didn't release the price yet but i'm pretty sure whatever they price it at like the savings are going to be astronomical and not just that but you get a plethora of i think everything on here is a new model yeah because even the intercessors that we've seen before they haven't been kitted out this way so really cool really interesting way to see i'm sure these things are going to sell like hotcakes so pre-orders um, definitely will be a, a must and yeah I mean let me know what you guys thought about it what's your favorite model in the Space Marine half and stay subscribed for more things 40k as in a few hours we will be looking at the Necron half of this Indomitus box set so with that being said guys that's all I have for today and I'll see you pretty shortly this is the Sound Alchemist part of One Mind Syndicate and I'll catch you then